Get what you need to complete almost any upcycling project at your local hardware store. Coming up next on the Go Green channel at Buildapedia.com. Rachel Ranny. Today I'm at the Goodale Pro Hardware Store. I'm going to show you how to assemble a basic do-it-yourself toolkit. A basic roller set is a good investment. Sustainability is a priority for me, so I look for bamboo or recycled brushes. I use my glue gun for tacking, finishing, and decor. Make sure that you get one with a kickstand so it won't burn your work surface. These are some of my favorites. Sanding sponges give you lots of control and are easy to use. They come in grades from coarse to fine and in a variety of shapes and sizes. For sanding metal surfaces, steel wool and wire brushes will do the trick. A staple gun is a great tool for reupholstery, making picture frames and small woodworking projects. I can't believe this one's only 30 bucks. Check out these clamps. You can get them in any size. I use them whenever I'm sawing or gluing. These are padded so you won't damage the materials that you're working with. A level is a must have. I use my level when I hang art and photos and it's great for any woodworking project. When buying basic tools like hammers, screwdrivers, and chisels, get the one that feels best in your hands. Protect your hands. Try on different pairs. A cordless drill is a must. It'll save you a ton of time. One in the 12 to 20 volt range will get you through any upcycling project. A basic drill bit kit is also good to have. Selecting the right screw, bolt, or nail can be intimidating. Luckily, most hardware stores carry these handy kits that are full of common sizes. I like to keep one on hand. Hardware stores are full of experienced people to help you make the right selection. Don't be afraid to ask questions. I'm Rachel Ranny. Come check us out on the Rehabitat page at buildapedia.com and let us know what repurposing project you would like to see next.